Nine News at Nine continues with a rescue of a snowboarder who was trudging through chest deep snow. He was miles from the nearest ski lift and out of cell phone range. And then he heard the motor of a snowmobile. Its driver, a former contestant on the reality show The Bachelorette, had a video camera on his helmet. Nine News reporter Cheryl Preheim has more. And Cheryl, they call it a one in a million meeting. Fozzie, 15 minutes earlier or later, if they'd veered off a few yards in any direction, they wouldn't have found Thomas. He was more than 10 miles off course. He says the word lucky sounds oversimplified, but it is what it is. There are hundreds of square miles around Vail Mountain. A group of snowmobilers was in part of the pass they normally don't go, and a snowboarder was in a place he should not have been alone and lost. I had no idea where I was. The moment their paths unexplainably intersected, 24-year-old Thomas Pazarunas was rescued. I was just extremely lucky. Uh, I would have no way of contacting anybody, no way of knowing where I was. Uh, the nearest the nearest help would have been miles and miles away. I'd still be searching for it right now. He'd been snowboarding on Blue Sky Basin, didn't mean to go out of bounds, but accidentally headed down the backside. The guys who found him diagrammed it for us on this picture. He started at the top there, and then you see his tracks midway. He ended up farther than this picture can even show. He was 12 miles from anything that was civilized. So think about how long it would take you to walk on hard concrete, 12 miles, let alone. He was a long ways from, from Kansas, Dorothy. I thought if I just keep going to the right when I last saw my friends, uh, eventually I would run into a chairlift and some friendly faces. Uh, the chairlift, I came up empty-handed, but uh, needless to say, I saw some, some very friendly faces. He never found the chairlift. Thank goodness he found anyone. No more uh, back trails for me. Thomas says he'd been lost for more than an hour and a half. Again, he had a cell phone with him for safety, but he couldn't get a signal and says he was already dehydrated and exhausted after 12 miles being off course. He and his friends are driving back to Chicago tomorrow with a story about being found and being rescued by Jesse Sisnak, the guy who ended up with a proposal on The Bachelorette a few years ago. Bozzi, so quite a story. Yeah, sounds like they're both lucky guys. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl.